Well, hello everyone. I'm playing Oxygen Not Included. We've got the Weta Blast update. I'm trying to uh, set up a base that I can explore some of those new, new features. What I'm going to do right now is just power on this guy so I will, would have the ability to send material to the other world. Over here, the Diliolia. No idea if I pronounced that right, but uh, there it is. Just realized. At some point, I might be in a pinch to send material over there. Probably the highest priority might be food. We're fine right now, 30,000 calories or so. But I don't want to have to do that when uh, I don't actually have all this set up. I'd rather have this powered in and built early. So that's why I'm doing this now. So if I ever require it, the powering and automation will already be there. I'm going to build a ration box here where I can tempor temporarily store food that I might need to send over in the future. And a storage bin to send other materials that I may need to send. So that is that. You can speed things up so the dupes get to work on it. The next thing is I want to complete this room. I started this last episode and realized these guys, I very much want them because I think this is a station crafting st shearing station yeah that is something I completely missed whoops how much power does that uh, consume I can't remember if that's a high energy consumer or not 60 no not gonna worry about that okay so I'm gonna bring that in would be nice if that had lights but uh, I've got some mealwood growing, and maybe what I'll do is I'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. I plan for uh, lighting up here. So I'll put a dupe sensor in between the two. And in order to maintain that as a proper room, I'm going to have to lock off two tiles again. This is going to allow me to put in a dupe sensor see if the dupe is using either of those machines and I'll put in the light right at that tile and where that dupe has destroyed that. So that's going to be where our light's going to be. Right there. We're still waiting for... Oh, I guess we're going to be waiting a long time for a pip to be dropped off in this room. Well, nothing's going to be dropped off in this room because I don't have anything to... Uh, I get rid of the one that previously used to be right there. But we'll get that back. So yeah, this is going to make all the difference. Because I can't make Atmo suits without getting these guys to visit the shearing station. So that's a very important task. Aluminum ore. gonna make a change around here because I don't really need this many pips just kind of hanging about might as well go right to meat a little bit quicker if we can so we're gonna have a fun little area here that uh, drowns the pips yeah you heard that right so we're gonna put that here actually maybe to lock that off but that's essentially gonna get the eggs to uh, barbecue meets all the faster and with it a little bit with the uh, dupes not having to go in here and attack okay oh automation let's not have this light on all the time it seems wasteful now these um, once the shearing happens for these guys and we can see rancher now taking up action we're gonna get the first piece of reed fiber fiber reed can't remember which we're waiting a while for whatever critter is on the way. There we are. So we're going to be getting... Where is it called? Reed fiber. Finally, that's my first piece of reed fiber in this game. Now, if they're exposed to hydrogen, they'll produce more. And there's a tiny bit of hydrogen here, but we can blast that up a little bit. 
by just connecting to our hydrogen line that already exists. And they don't consume the hydrogen, so once I've got all the hydrogen I need, I'm making sure it doesn't escape from that room, then we're good. So the dupes will put in that line and have that ready. Let's have a look on the other world. We've got two dupes over here. I'm going to be building an Atmo suit uh, station right around here and having them go in here when I can finally create that. Now I can, now that I've got the proper setup in the other world. But one thing I'm going to be transporting back is going to be this oil. I want to insulate that pipe as it's making its way to the teleportation equipment. So that's where it's being dropped off, but we want to send it here. So I'm going to be transporting oil from here. And insulate this pipe because it's going to be hot and that's going to make its way to here. I'll even change the pipe that I was given to insulate it. Does that change it? Yeah. So the dupes have been sending material here. Just kind of shows that they've been out of things to do so this, this is important to get this uh, in place. The other thing I'll get them to do is possibly dig up here a bit because I want to have a door accessible in space. I want to find more about, oh, regolith. Really? That's interesting. And it's hot. I've been getting, and what's copper ore. So there's been asteroid. I have not seen an asteroid yet since this update, but I have evidence of it. So at some point, possibly when I'm doing more mining, digging down here, I'll catch one of these things and we'll see what it actually looks like when these asteroids are landing. But in the meantime, I want to have this liquid drained out. So my plan is, how am I going to, let's dig out this way, go up. And that's going to allow me to essentially get in here. I want to dig around like this. And have that drain down here. Someone's not going to like digging here, but I want to also make sure this doesn't get filled. All right, that's enough uh, tasks to keep those dupes busy. Let's go back over here. Last pieces are being put in this hydrogen line. So here we want to put the pips. Just want to have at least one pip on molten slicker. Uh, let's see, pip rig and a pip or no, not a pip squeak. High priority. Have them dropped off. And we can wrangle one of these guys. Let's, so we want someone that can plant something. I ate all these. These guys need something to do. There's not a lot of food. Let's copy the setting. Bring in more of these plants. Oh, we can work on this. I think that would be smart. So what I want to want to do is I want to now have the eggs. This is where eggs are being dropped off. I want to have that dropped here. I want to have a door and water right here so that uh, this automatically converts to meat, which can be converted to barbecue meat. Hydrogen is making its way in this room. So yeah, as these guys go up and explore the hydrogen area, they're going to start growing and I'll be able to get more of the reed fiber. These guys consume these plants here. And the reason I'm bringing a pip over is because I'm going to plant one more. I forgot this when I uh, had left, left this uh, alone last time. So I'm going to have to find something for these dupes to be able to do because they're out of tasks. Won't we start with some research? Well, now that we have this uh, fiber reed, I think it's time to research this ammo suit. That is the next thing that is needed. That's going to keep some of the dupes busy in the laboratory. Let's verify we still have a laboratory. We do not. Whoops. 
Okay, before we get into heavy research, let's fix that. I think it's just too big. I'll put a door there. Let me change that. Or is it this guy? Is it one of those things that can't have a transformer in? That might be the case. We'll see in a second. So the size of this room is 100. It's probably 96, maybe. Laboratory. Maximum is 120. No, I'm going to say it's the power transformer that's an issue. This is coming from the solar power. We're going to destroy that. Fill the door in front of it. So that effectively the transformer is not in the laboratory. This coffee is taking that out. They were the first one to do a space mission for us. Put the door right there. Oh! No, I won't be able to quite do that, but I, I, I can work around that. So I have a power transformer that's going to go here. That is taking power from the solar panels. So I'm not going to need these two. I'm going to need heavy watt wire connection. Go in like this. connect into the heavy watt wire line. And these ones can go away. So it's not going to be a very pretty area to work in. But it's all about research. That's the only thing that uh, matters to those guys. I do have scientists. I gave them this new lab cot. So they can sleep there. And dream about a research and then do research all cycle long when they're awake. I have this set up right now that only one dude can go in here. It's shelf. So construction inside this zone may take a little bit longer. But what I'm gonna do is just up the priority. So I want water to go in here, connect to the water line. What do we have? That line doesn't look like it's even being used. So I'm going to cut, and then cut this line. This is a polluted water line. So what I'll do is I'll just tap into this. So it's going to send water over here. We're gonna need liquid vent. I'll put that right here. So the eggs are essentially gonna be stored here. And every now and then, I'm gonna want to make sure some of the pips get out because I do need to repopulate these rooms over here. Right now, what do I have? Six, five, six, five, and six. So two are missing. So I'm gonna take pip squeak, sure, and a pip, wrangle them, bring them over. And this is going to allow me to take some of the eggs that are down here that's going to be converted to meat and instead have them converted to more pips. Right now I've got tons of pips, but they're not going to last forever. Oh yeah, I was going to up the priority inside this because I only have one dupe that can go in here. I only have one dupe going here because of this is currently ha uh, dropping eggs off. I don't want them to go in a cycle. Or they drop eggs here, someone else picks them up. But, but Chef's not allowed up in this floor. So that's what's happening. It's going to prevent it from happening. So if I up the priority, Chef should fix, uh, fix this side of it. The dupes are busy putting that side of it in. What's that look over here? We've got polluted water. This is going... Oh, where is that going? Oh, into this guy slowly. Sure. Okay, I guess that's fine. here I'm doing well where's our, our pip okay has that pip yes it has okay yeah we have yet another meal wood that's what these guys are gonna eat so they're gonna be fed we don't really need the pip anymore so that can be just converted to meat sorry buddy but we need to make room for these guys and is there any other ones oh there are okay can you bring in it's the wrong So 
so in, in time these will be wrangled if they fall down here they're gonna drown so it might be nice if the dupes create some ladders so that they can get down here 36 degrees are gonna be fine with that liquid that has built up this was filled somewhere up here so that is no longer the case so that's slowly pumping liquid into our water system how are we doing for water oh we're doing pretty good lots of water so i think now oh yeah let's put uh let's watch this get filled up so there it is water is going in here once the water is filled up we don't need to continually supply it won't be consumed to dupes that don't have anything to do I guess I might might need to make a plan then for what I'm gonna do next so yeah I'll uh, I'll do that and I'll be back we'll continue this uh, this game so we have this filled up with water we no longer need the vent the vent so let's get rid of that enough pips over here for now but you can see new pip eggs are being dropped off here and when they hatch they'll essentially be uh well drowned and converted to meat it's just how it goes what would be nice too if we had automation so the dupes don't even have to pick up the pips over here now the way i design this unfortunately that means i'm gonna have to have you know i need more metal for that let's let's not do that i don't have a metal refinery that takes care of its own heat this operates by essentially cooling off over here but we're going to change that once we have plastic and other things suffocating who's suffocating whoa oh no 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 that's that's not a good it's not a good plan what you've just done there dupe coffee not smart not smart at all, actually. You really, really need to uh, take that tile out. Or you're going to be in big trouble. Come on, coffee. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, wipe your eyes. More concerned about oxygen. Just add a little bit of insulation here just because it's pretty warm in this area no point in having that going to the base the base temperature itself is quite nice has the advantage of being around a lot of cool areas so it's keeping some of the machinery such as electrolyzer at bay temperature wise and someone made a mess that means someone's trapped engineer what oh okay yeah you are trapped yep you need help and this is going to be an issue too over time it's a little annoying because you just uh caused food poisoning that little thing there but it is what it is i'm gonna do a high priority you're not out of oxygen but i'd like to get you back This wrangling of these guys here won't happen if I don't have a path over here as well. Come on, scientist, you can do it. Engineer is be able to get back into the base again. Now I can see the same thing's gonna happen over here, so let's just preemptively do this I'll just make it flat rancher is in there doing some wrangling that's going to make more of these guys we'll get more fiber -y. and speaking of which well maybe the research is not complete oh it is textile loom exo exosuit forge need more metal though I've seen a lot of metal down here, so actually we don't even have to produce the metal, we can just dig it out. Some iron in the area. It's just going to 
save us from producing some metal refinery. And let's get a blueprint. Slicker larva. I don't know if I'll utilize that properly. I could put in a warm area that consumes carbon dioxide. I think it needs 50 degree temperatures. We don't have Atmos suits. That's probably not going to be useful for us. Since we've got uh, the ability soon to go over to this world and get oil anyway. Let's just check on the dupes here. They're still working on this pipe. They've dug out over here. Just need a little bit of help navigating through. Alright, I'll be back when the dupes dug out a little bit more metal and we can create a place to get these uh, Atmo suits created. So, I've been digging out some of this metal here. I'm just going to see if I have enough now to make an Exo Forge. I do, excellent. So I'm going to bring that over here. It's going to be connected to one of the spots that has a heavy watt wire. So I'm going to build that right here. We'll dig out a spot for it. So this is going to allow me to put in this. I'll just put it right here. It's going to be connected with power, obviously. I'm also going to put in a spot for lights. So I have a ceiling light. Let me locate it right there where the power is with the sensor, of course, for the dupes. Dupe sensor going in with automation. And we'll even put a storage bin here for the input and the material. Probably an auto sweeper is just going to be overkill because I don't need to create a lot of these. So I won't bother with uh, doing that just now. Over in this world, well, this one here, I'm going to build the exosuit stations. So I'm going to do that about here. I'm going to have the area I'm going to dig down be right there. So let's do that. They're going to need some metal. They may or may not have it. A little bit of copper available. Okay, that's good. Let's put that right here. And I guess we just need two of them. That's going to be connected with oxygen. It already is. Okay, I'll line that up perfectly. Power as well. So the dupes can get uh, started on that. Over here, let's see how they're doing. So this is where the fiber reed is going to be. That's industrial ingredient. Reed fiber. It's going to be stored in there when the dupes are able to. Artist is putting the last touches on this. I can see my pug slug producing a little bit of power. How much power is that? 400. That's actually pretty good. Exo suit forge. Okay. So now we are in business. We'll make this out of iron since I'm, I'm able to dig with all that uh, out. We make uh, several suits, which is nice. Well, I'll just have it build a dozen. Won't be able to actually make more than six, but over time I'll get more fiber reeds from these guys. If I had to plan this right, I would have put this sp sta uh, spot in earlier and got more fiber reed. But anyway, it's fine. I've got some of my fiber reeds now and they're in hydrogen. At least the ones that are in hydrogen are going to be regrowing some of their uh, scales and they'll be able to uh, produce more Atmo suits ultimately. Okay, so there is that. Check on this. The, these now exist. I will say deliver even though they don't exist yet. Mark that as a high priority. But when they do exist, they'll be put in. Oxygen is already been, lo been loaded in, which is good. Oh, we're out of material. What is igneous rock? At least there's not a lot of igneous rock where I just didn't happen to dig much out. Oh, that's easily fixed. 
I made that out of igneous rock because it's a good insulator. Decent. It's not one of the best, but uh, not ceramic, but it'll do the job here. Sedimentary rock. Where is... Oh, you know what's going to help if I'm looking for igneous rock? Is that a mineral, first of all? Granite. Igneous rock. Oh, it's gray, which is kind of hard to see, to be honest. If you're looking for igneous, it'd be nice if there was a search feature available. You could say igneous and highlight just that. I would actually prefer it than pre-highlighted colors, but... Uh, We'll see if we can use it. I don't know if this is actually even that helpful, helpful, to be honest. Igneous rock, I can see a bunch right here. It's gonna need some ladders to get up there, but that'll give us enough to finish those pipes anyway. So that should keep those dupes busy. Oh, I see some Atmo suits. So they can be brought over. The other world here needs them more than this world. So that's going to be... What is that? I think that's a clothing. Yep. So Atmo suit. Let's do that as a high priority. And let's put Atmo suit over here. You know what? I'm just going to do everything really high priority and this is going to bring anything that's dropped on the floor over or put into these containers there is one of the dupes taking that mo suits they're dropping it off in here that's being picked up by the, this uh, auto sweeper put in here and that's making its way now over to the other world idilolia or however you want to try pronouncing that one. Oh, there is a doctor. They're dropping the ammo suit all in. That's now being charged with oxygen. Pilots putting in the second one. So now we can start digging in this area with an actual ammo suit, which is really handy. What I want to do is have a ladder go down here fire pole might as well put that in as well and we can start the process of digging down into this really hot zone gotta be careful of the sporchard when they get down there because that thing can create zombie spores I think it is Oh, I messed this up. That was, uh, it's too bad, but I guess it's fine. Oh, yeah. No, that is completely messed up. We need to block that off right away. Because we're going to be leaking gas. Let's make that a priority. This was not intended to very well. Thought the dupes could handle this on their own, obviously. Liquid escaped. I don't know if that's going through the sand or no. Look, no, I can see the evidence of it falling down through here. Let's dig this out. Do some mopping so they don't get their feet wet. This is now blocked, so we'll stop losing oxygen and hydrogen. This is, I can tell, it's already too thick to mop up. Which is fine, we can build a pump, handle it that way, but uh, that's not the priority. We want to get down here. Or was I making that out of Let's switch to copper ore. Of copper ore in this world. I can be very careful about how I'm going to approach that sporchard. Another sporchard over here. They're both deactivated. There's Doctor putting on a suit, doing some building, digging ultimately. Only one of the dupes can dig through with this light. They'll get through there. 
and they'll both be able to dig in through this area except for a bit of the diamond I think lead too you need the special skill I believe actually even fossil but lots of igneous rock when we do get there but it's gonna be hot so I'm gonna be worried about them using that So I'm going to tell the forge, whenever you find suits that need to be repaired, just do that forever. See a little bit of uh, carbon dioxide may have been consumed and oil was created over here. Also have some crude oil at that location as well. I'm gonna make a conveyor line goes from the, the spot here. I might not actually fully build this because I don't want to build the auto sweepers just yet. I'm gonna have the eggs dropped off right at this location. Have it go through the floor and then to this, but I'm gonna to have to create the floor. too far that's all right okay so that is essentially a future project when I can create enough of these auto sweepers which I don't have enough metal for at the moment but I will eventually it's something to print let's have a look coal or hatchling you could have a really strong cook or an operator a rock fan um, no let's uh, Let's just bring in this guy here. Enjoying the little family patches that exist. So we're still trying to create this insulated liquid pipe. That's not urgent since we don't have the pump anyways, but dupes can get busy on that. What is going on here? I'm wondering if I could... Ah! I probably want to set, set this to be much higher. I may even want to put in an auto sweeper, which means the engineer may have to come back. This is going to essentially feed coal into this guy here. Keep the dupes off the manual generator, because that's going to slow them down. So that'd be very useful if engineer could do that. So engineer buddy, you're going back temporarily just to build that one thing. Let's go over there. Don't forget him. Let's not forget about him in the teleportation equipment. We're going to do that as high priority. There's engineer. I'll see you on the way. Let's teleport you. Click inspect and get a. Data bank. All right, so engineer has arrived. We're gonna build this, and then I can send you back. There it is. I've only designed this spot for two dupes, so the rest, the other two dupes, can take care of the heavy watt wire connecting that. Microchip is being set. Okay, so now we're getting that upgraded, which is nice. But I'm going to up the priority of this. Because until coal actually gets inside that thing, it's not actually running. But that's going to keep the dupes off of this because I want them to now concentrate on going down here and exploring this area. Ultimately, we want to get a oil well on one of these guys here, an oil reservoir. There is some oil to begin with, so I can pump that out and send that to the other base, my home world. And this world is going to now need a place to process that hot oil that's going to be entering. So that also needs to be insulated. We've got a lot of igneous rock here, so that's not going to be a problem. Where's that being dropped off? Right here. Okay, so we need to take this insulated pipe. This is going to contain crude oil. 
We need to send that towards our base. I haven't decided yet where I want to process that. But I know I'll definitely want to bring it in towards the base in an insulated pipe so I can at least work on that much. My thought on where that should be is somewhere that is next to the heavy watt wire system. Because that is going, actually, do I have the tech for that? I may, I may have researched that already. What is that? Oh, that would be refinement, right? Oil refinery, yes, I do have the tech for that. Research. That's going to go somewhere around here. Just haven't decided exactly where. Really good question, actually. It's where I want to put this thing. So what are the consequences of putting in an oil refinery? It's going to make some natural gas, so I would like to have it underneath this zone. Because natural gas will be falling out. Maybe somewhere's over here. We're close to the heavy watt wire. Let's look at the heavy watt wire system. We'd be able to uh, get rid of this. And we'll put it somewhere in this zone. So that's going to allow natural gas to fall down. We have natural gas in that area anyways. So do start digging out this area here. Because that's where our natural... Or not natural gas, that's where our refinery is going to be. Let's go ahead and place the actual oil refinery. Is there anything else I may have missed when you're trying to create one of these? It needs, uh... Well, I suggest a heavy watt wire for this. In order to do that, let's get connected over here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go up this way. So this is where the crude oil is going to enter. We'll be busy with tasks for a while. Choose a line here to meet and bring this in. Let's convert this line to insulated line. That liquid bridge is going to have to change. Wish there was a way to just... Click a button and change the direction without having to destroy it and recreate it. I think it would be nice to put some liquid reservoirs around this. Mostly to contain the output. So put that right next to it. It'll be insulated as well. So that's going to be the output from this is going to feed and be stored into there. I'll use that. That's going to be petroleum. And the insulated crude oil is going to go into here. Get rid of that pipe. We'll put in lights. So whoever's operating that will have access to be able to see. You can see we're out of metal. We must have consumed the iron that I've dug out here. Can either produce more or dig out more. Might do a combination actually. So we'll run this for a few times, producing say a dozen pieces of copper. Putting our liquid bridges, one here. Actually, is that the only? Oh no, we need one here and one here. 
So that's going to keep those dupes busy. Let's go over on this world where I'm going to get the crude oil. This coal generator is going to be helping me out a lot. So it is going to be pr producing carbon dioxide, but I can handle that. But I want to have the dupes available to uh, do some construction and digging. Might be useful at this point, actually, to have both these dupes be able to do hard digging. So pilot can, doctor, which is electrical engineer, I'm going to give you the ability to do digging. Might even give you the next level up, but I'm just going to wait. Would be good to do some mopping up there. So I think this is a good time to stop, let the dupes catch up on their work, and I'll be back to give them some more tasks. Have the dupes creating a tile here, just allow them to run back and forth really quickly because they're going to be going back and forth quite a bit. But they've dug out down here. And actually, what I want to do now is look to see if there's any zombie spores. There is some here, some here. So I'm going to, be have, to, I'm going to have to be very careful about that. But what I want to do is dig into this area. Let's try to dig in in such a way that I can get access to a good portion of the crude oil that's already in existence. It's going to give a better digging ability. Pilot, let's give that to you. I think I'm going to go ahead and give Ra uh, Dr. Super Hard Digging. I want them to dig in all the oil reserves that don't have zombie spores. And then we're going to build a pump, let's say at the lowest portion, right about there. And we're going to start to pump that carbon dioxide, or not carbon dioxide, that crude oil, back to the home world. But I think that's going to do for this episode. So make good progress on that world over here. I see a lot of the dupes are on these things that wouldn't uh, would be beneficial potentially to pr produce more power. Where's the power consumption going? Well, well we're going to be operating an oil refinery soon. We do have natural gas. I can use that as a source for power. Oh, the power's probably being consumed here. These pumps. That's something uh, I'll probably build some more solar panels. I have to figure out how to do that for keeping a safe circuit. But anyway, that's going to be next episode. Well, thank you for watching. Advancing this space. We're going to be making some plastic soon and hopefully find out how asteroids work. And I haven't still, I still haven't found this specimen. I don't know if it's going to be in this world or I'm going to have to go somewhere else. But we will figure that out in time. And I'll see you in a future episode.